Nice trailer for consideration. I don't really recommend trailers. Everyone's needs are so specific. It's best for you to weigh your own needs, make your own choices. This trailer, a great value for 6,500 bucks. However, I didn't see a roof vent and it has a metal roof. So that's gonna get a frying pan effect in the summer when the roof cools down. The people inside, the three people inside this trailer, even one breathing will condense on the roof. So uh, it's easy to take care of that by just getting a roof vent. But this company offers a fan instead of a roof vent which uh, I wouldn't be comfortable purchasing a trailer without a roof vent. My name is Greg. Uh, this is a brand called uh, the Teardrop Trailer. Mm -hmm. uh, they're from the last name is pronounced Houdinit. Mm -hmm. um, they're a small mom and pop shop out in Ontario, Canada. Okay. And um, you purchased this new, right? We purchased, yeah, custom made for us. Okay, great. And uh, how long a wait did you have to get it to receive it? Was it? About it was about nine months. Nine months, nine yeah. It months. seems to be typical. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, if you don't mind me asking, what did it go for? Um, just about 7,000 American dollars. Uh, wow. 6,500 American dollars. Very inexpensive. Yeah. Very inexpensive, very yeah. well made. Yeah. Yep. So the options. That yeah, you we, had this huge uh, tongue box, gigantic. Yep. Yeah. We opted for uh, a larger tongue box here, mm -hmm. and uh, we upgraded the uh, tires to 14-inch tires with a spare underneath. Yeah. Well, the spare is going to eat into your off-road, right? I mean, you don't have much clearance below the spare. Yeah, we're probably not going to do much off-roading. Uh, I think one of the things we're going to modify is maybe take the tire out and put it somewhere else. Yeah. And maybe in front of the tongue box. Well, that'll give you a lot more tongue weight, but this doesn't look like it has much tongue weight at all. I have much weight at all. How much does this trailer 950, weigh, do you know? 950, 950. Wow, very lightweight. Very lightweight. Very lightweight, yeah. yeah. And uh, what do you what do you get for this money? Yeah, so uh, we opted for the back stabilizers. You have a lot of uh, diamond plate uh, all over it, yeah, which is pretty this good. This model is called the uh, uh, Tin Top Woody. A tin top woody, okay. Tin top woody. Yeah. We well, for the uh, two inch hitch right here, yeah, <coughs> okay, for um, bicycles, yeah, yeah, you have a nice swing away bike. rack yeah, here, exactly. yeah, very nice. Yep. So okay, binoculars, like... very important, good birding here, yep, yep. great birding exactly. here, exactly. We've been doing okay. quite a bit of it. And uh, what do you got for binoculars, Nikon Monarchs, maybe? Yeah, I believe they are the Monarchs, yeah, that's what I'm using too, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. good. And you have a, a little power brick here, yep, little power brick, that's the uh, uh, river. Mm -hmm. Okay, River. Mm -hmm. And does that power the trailer, or does it just power no, what you plug in? No, there's a 12 volt deep battery, a uh, deep uh, cycle battery in the. Uh, um, okay, so that's extra power for what you want. And you went for your own, use your own stove, own. Uh, yeah, it you know, came power. with a small one burner stove, mm -hmm. uh, and a cooler and a slide out tray, uh -huh. um, which didn't seem like it was. Uh, there was a beautifully constructed wooden box. Yeah. Wood, but it was small. It was, you know, smaller than this with a nice latch. Yeah. And the hardware on the uh, uh, slide out seemed a little flimsy with the box and the cooler it came out to about yeah. here. And it slid out to here. And I didn't find any function for that. So you just said, I'll do it myself and I can we do just it. Took, yeah. yeah, we just. Yeah. No, it's a lot of people, um, a large number of people go that route. Yeah. What is this? 12 volt? Yep, that's 12 volt. 12 volt socket. Yep. Okay. And then we've got the lighting. Here. Okay. Do you know how large your battery is? Um, Camp hours or anything? Or? I don't. No. no okay. Okay. No. But you haven't run low on energy or anything. No, not at all. No, I mean, and then on the inside. How do you charge it? Your battery? Um, with shore power, we brought a charger. Okay. And then on the inside here. Okay. Uh, nice. Uh, what is this like a formica type thing? What is that? Ply, no, it's fiberglass. A, uh, no, it's uh, I aluminum. Believe it's this might be aluminum. Okay. I'm not too sure, but this looks like uh, this is three. All right. Let me just stick my ply. nose in there. Yeah. I'll just have a look. Okay, nice, uh, cozy. Yep. Oh, you got a bunk bed. Yep, there's a bunk bed. Oh, there. okay, very nice. Yep, that yeah. was an upgrade that we opted yeah. for. Okay. And the bunk uh, slides out and has uh, um, storage underneath, so mm -hmm. you can break it down and there's storage. We have very nice. extra sheets in there. Very nice. Yeah. Very efficient, right? It's very efficient. Very cost effective, I mean, very, extremely. Very uh, uh, inexpensive. Yeah. Um, yeah, they did a nice job. Every time we called the company um, for updates, uh -huh. you know, uh, the owner called or uh -huh. uh, uh, answered the phone, which is... Yeah, human phone. answers, yeah. Uh, yeah, the owner of the company. And how about in the rain and all? Uh, have you had um, it out in rain? Yeah. No, it hasn't had any issues. Towing? 
fine. Uh, you didn't go for electric brakes, right? You don't need them on this Correct. rig. Yeah, okay, we good. We may upgrade eventually, but it didn't yeah. seem like we needed... Uh, well, if you don't need it, you know. Yeah. How's the gas mileage towing? Um, I haven't done the math yet, but obviously, you know, you're towing a, a 950-pound trailer uh, with probably a couple hundred pounds of gear. A lot of air pro profile, too, but these are somewhat streamlined, you know, teardrops. So. Yeah, it's a nice classic design. Yeah. Like yeah. 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 Excellent. We, all right, we're quite happy with it. It's very comfortable. A four-inch memory foam mattress in the back comes standard. Uh-huh. We bought a... Uh, custom mattress for the bunk there. Yeah, uh, yeah, you move that tire, you could do a lot more aggressive off-road. Uh, you'd have a lot of ground clearance. Uh, yeah. You have a lot. Yeah. So it would be uh, it would be very nice and yeah. uh, good. Well, it's a good match for the car. You know, not much tongue weight, I'm sure. It's very lightweight. Yeah. 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 We're happy with it. Yeah, well, good. Well, good. I wish you many uh, happy, uh, happy miles. Let me get this. Let me get this. So you've got a wind generator on there. Uh, what brand is that? V4. Vivor? Yeah. And how do you like it? Terrible, huh? Not putting that last night. We, I had 34 mile an hour. I have a wind speed thing. 34 mile an hour winds last night. It didn't produce? It should have been, you know, up to spec. Yeah. It just didn't. It was, when it first started, I got about a half an amp out of it. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, that's fine. Like, that's, I just wanted something to yeah. get going overnight. Yeah. And um, it just, through the night, it just, it, it totally... I'm using 10 amp solar panels. Uh, oh, wow. They're working out real good. Yeah. And uh, I don't want to keep you from your flight here. You're, you're oh, navigating no your drone up there. So <laughs> again, good. thank you. You bet. This guy's quite small. I'm going to move him to the side of the road. Safe and sound. 